Hi guys, welcome to the Lares Studios. Let's get to talk about how to set a detail page uh, rather in a heterogeneous recycler view layout. Uh, we're going to set uh, a non-click listener to the views that we have, uh, probably the vertical and the horizontal view, and uh, that is actually going to usher you to a detail page where you get to have more uh, detail of that particular item. Uh, creating a detail page on a heterogeneous recycler view is quite simple and straightforward. When all uh, order are set up appropriately, so you have to actually set up your adapter. Uh, since you're going to have uh, a center adapter that will be controlling the two adapters used, that's the vertical and the horizontal. So once you have that set up uh, appropriately, uh, integrating and on click listener to each of the items right there in the layout will be quite easy. In this tutorial, uh, we'll be uh, integrating our non click listener to each layout items and uh, we're going to incorporate these into the horizontal uh, displayed items and uh, we're going to have a detailed page from there. I'm actually going to be doing this in the horizontal and I'll be leaving you to actually finish up with the vertical that will be the assignment uh, for you. So once I set up the horizontal, you see how that flows. Uh, integrating this into the vertical will be very, very much easy. Uh, without much ado, I will be heading straight to code. But before I proceed, I would like to point out the starter code to this project, uh, which is right, right there from the video heterogeneous cycle view, the horizontal and vertical scroll. Uh, you could actually uh, watch this video if you are hitting this uh, integration for the first time and uh, if you've actually uh, acclimatized yourself uh, or you you conversant with this video already uh, i will employ you to move along with me uh, but if you're hitting this for the first time i will employ you also to check out this uh, starter code so that you could understand how to set up the heterogeneous cycle of you and uh extend it further to a detail page uh and a click list that will be much much easier and understandable for you so i'll be adding straight to the code and we'll be moving ahead from there. Uh, let me try to close all tabs. So I'm going to start from the salient points uh, needed. Cool. So we have the Gradle. This is the Gradle right there, where you have the app compact, the card view, uh, the support design, also the constraint layout. Uh, no inclusion right there in the uh, Gradle scripts since we've actually set this up uh, previously. But there are going to be some uh, back and forth right there from the layout files. In the layout now, we have the activity mail, which is the launcher, uh, the horizontal, uh, that's for the horizontal display. Now you're going to add two more layouts. Uh, if you are dealing with uh, the other, probably the vertical, it's going to be four layouts. But I'm actually showing this example for the horizontal scroll. So I actually added the details. So you'll be adding that, the horizontal details and the details layout. Uh, the details is actually going to be for the detail page uh, with a preview that uh, you could see that. Uh, that is the image section. And uh, these are the uh, descriptions, uh, the title and probably the publish date. Uh, these are all metadata of that particular uh, item. So you have that set up rather than the horizontal details. and we're going to actually have the details layout where you we if you if you if you notice there's a kind of integration done here with this line called include uh, layout. Uh, this actually including uh, the bunch from the horizontal details layout. In the horizontal details layout, that's why we have the items. It's wrapped around the scroll view for smaller screens so that it's not going to crop out any of the uh, attributes with a relative layout so you could actually float underneath uh, that set the layout below each item quite easy using the relative layout uh, we have the image view which is the picture of the, that particular item and uh, with the title for those which is right underneath the image we have the description and uh, the publish date so those are the items that will be uh, binding and will be uh, pushing with an intent from the adapter. So I think with the standard, so those are the two inclusions 
rather the layout uh, files. From here, I head straight to the Java classes. Uh, we have the main activity, as you all know. Uh, the horizontal detail is another activity, which is the detail activity. But before I get to the detail activity, I would like to uh, shed more light on the adapter. That's where the gimmick is coming from. Uh, we have a main adapter that controls uh, the vertical uh, view and the horizontal view. Uh, if you notice, we have that setup. This actually calls the get horizontal data and this calls the get vertical data. So you have that setup from the main adapter that actually uh, inflates a uh, different uh, view. If you notice, we have the case here for the vertical and also for the horizontal uh, view. So we've actually covered this in the previous tutorial, so I won't be going uh, deeper on how to set up uh, the horizontal and vertical adapter. Our major point for this uh, moment is how to actually set an on-click listener to each of those items and push them down to the detail activity. With good logic and good uh, management of the, uh, the, the view order, you've been able to create uh, two different adapters. You're not going to create two recycler views, as I've said. You're going to replace the recycler view. But now you have two different adapters that has a main ad adapter that controls them. In the horizontal adapter, that's where you get to bind the data down to the horizontal view, uh, where you did that right there in the unbind view order. I think you, are, you should understand that by now. Uh, you have the horizontal adapter, which is uh, the constructor of the adapter. Uh, that's where you get to pass in uh, the array list, and also you could actually uh, get the context, which is actually coming from the calling uh, class down here. So you'll be using the context as well to actually push some intent of data down to another activity. There is an inner class called the view order, which extends the recycler view view order. That's where you have a constructor. Uh, where you set uh, the different views that you actually used uh, to bind data to. So you have that set up the title, description, public date, and the imagery. And at this point in time, this is where you could actually uh, set your uh, on-click listener or you create an on-click method uh, to actually trigger on each of the item. So let's get to look at how that is done. You set an on-click listener to the item view. Uh, which is actually the view order, if you give the view of the view order, uh, which actually uh, binds, uh, gets the IDs from the different uh, text view and the image view. Now you override an on click listener because an on click method, because you actually instantiate the view on click listener and you need to override a method called the on click method. So that's the method you could see right there. Uh, get the adapter position to have the position of each item. Uh, which is actually going to be an integer, uh, so that is going to be predominant to each of the item. So it's actually going to look at this item A. Item A has this particular title. Item A has this particular picture. Item A has this particular description. Uh, so it's actually an integer. So you have that as a position. So you test that if uh, the position is not equal to the recycler view, no position. So it must have a position. That's what that is. So you could actually go further. We need the data, which is the array list, uh, the bunch of data right there in the list. And you get the position of that particular item from the array list. Now you're trying to go deeper into uh, finding the values uh, that actually suits that position. So that's what that is. So you have it in the POJO because the POJO now has the bunch of the title, the description, the image, and the public date, uh, which is actually the set and get method. And now you're going to actually use the click data item. That's the object we've actually created from the single horizontal because we've actually created the different POJO for each of the view. We have the single horizontal POJO and the uh, vertical horizontal POJO. So definitely in a vertical scroll, we might have different flow of items while in the horizontal, we might have another set of data to actually pass along. So that's just why that is uh, going to make it look uh, more, uh, much more independent to work with. So with that now, you have your item position. You could actually trigger your intent and uh, instantiate the intent, pass the context, and call the activity that will be receiving those intents. After that, you put the extra data. If you're using a pass label, this might could have been very short. You just need the item position from there. You call each of those uh, values from the data activity. But we are not using a pass label uh, kind of setup. 
pojo is just a mere a played uh, old, uh plain pojo without some uh uh serializable or passable to actually make that uh, more constructive so you just do it this way you pass the extras now if you notice these are key value pairs that's the extra extra are always the key value pairs the the left uh in the left of the uh, parentheses you're going to have the key while the right or the following uh, attribute will be the value so in the keys the extra th title this title is actually uh, situated right there in the horizontal detail activity it's a constant which you've actually created if you notice we have the constants here the title description images and published dates uh, that has a string values so cool back to the result adapter now you go to call the click data item and get the title from there you pass that as the value of the extra title key the same thing goes with the description and uh, you get the dicks you get the images that's for the extra images and you get the published dates if you notice the images are is actually going to be an integer data type so because uh, you're going to set the image resources to an integer value it's not to a string we get to look at how we're going to extract those values from our intent in the horizontal detail activity. You could add the flags that the flag activity new tax actually create a new flow from an inner class. That's what that's going to do. And you start the activity to trigger the intent to get started on click of any item in the horizontal view. This pushes down to the horizontal detail activity. We've talked about the constant that we had. Now we're going to look at the. Let's get to look at uh, other aspect of this class, the image view. Cool, we needed that. We have we need the text view for the title, the description, and the published date. Like any class that extends app compact activity, you have to override the onCreate method where a lot of actions will be going on. You call the layout the horizontal details we've talked about these details we have that uh, right there on top here uh, that actually houses uh, other aspects of the view and uh, now we're going to get the spot action bar set the display as well as enable this is actually going to give a sort of back button uh, right at the top of the toolbar to get you to uh, the activity that actually called this particular detail so that's just that now you need to initialize the views the image view the title description the published date call their appropriate ids so that they will be usable now let's look at the way the intent has been extracted firstly it's, it's a good standard to check for an intent if uh, it's available so that you have a crashed application uh, sometimes intents can be null or can uh, can pass in a wrong value or without any value so with this approach you first of all check if an intent uh, is actually uh, present uh, which if it has an extra of the extra title and the extra title uh, has the key of the, uh, the the value of the title so if that is present uh, you could go further to extract the, the values from the intent but if not it's actually going to call on a toast that no API data is being passed so that thing that is quite uh, reasonable now we have those values extracted you could call the get extracts get string or you could call the get string extra that's actually going to extract the values from the key which is extra title the description the published date now at the point of the images you need to get the integer because we've actually passed an integer values to an extra key so you have that uh, extracted and you need an integer data type as well there's a corresponding integer value so from there you get to bind to the views that you've actually created up here so you set the text to the title you set the text also to the description and you set the text down to the published date based on the string values uh, we've gotten from the intent the last one is going to be the image view uh, let me take away this toast it's not needed the last one is going to be the image view you set the image resource based on the integer value of the image to the image view because these are all just embedded right there in the application probably if you are using an API you might be using glide to actually load from the network of the images you get what that means but this is right inside stuck right there in the application so that's why we're just calling the set image resource since we have the id of the image right there in the application
so with this now you've been able to set up your first detail page you could also set up for the uh, for the vertical scroll so this is just for the horizontal so you could also need to set up for the vertical scroll and that will be the assignment I'll be giving to my good listeners I'll try to implement that on your own uh, with this analysis you could get that set up within a few minutes and that will be covered out so with uh, all this analysis we've done I think you should be able to uh, do that on your own and I hope you understand one or two things in this tutorial let's get to look at the manifest which is the metadata of your application in the manifest you need to set up or you need to register the activity which is the horizontal detail activity and you could also use the parent activity name called main activity and the metadata this is actually compatible with our previous APIs of Android uh, probably the three points are the the lower versions of the APIs of Android or the lower uh, Android devices and uh, using the parent activity and the value main activity cool with this now uh, you've had that uh, set up and uh, cleared out and uh, one thing uh, I would just like to uh, make make uh, now you could also set a title or let's call us set title set title uh, let's set the title to the the title we have already called X title cool so that instead of us just having a static title for each click of an item we'll have their title as the toolbar title that's what that uh, depicts so on each click probably we'll click on, on Mr. Bean and uh, we're going to have the title as Mr. Bean instead of just a static title that will fly around multiple views so that's how uh, it's actually scalable and cool so with this analysis I'll be uh, uploading the source code and I will actually be doing that right there in the GitHub account so you can pick it up from there and use it in any course of your application. Thank you guys for hanging out with me throughout this tutorial and I will rush you into the new year. We're going to have a more and more bountiful experiences when it comes to Android development. Bye bye for now.